Um, we're now recording, as we all know that. Um, what I would say is today, title of today's briefing is um, is commit to more sustainable food procurement. We know it's based around dynamic food procurement, which we'll go on to talk about. Um, but I think it's quite um, it's quite pertinent, really, to stop and reflect on the fact that sustainable, uh, the word is able to maintain uh, to a certain level, and it's it's more often than not used in relationship to climate change. But uh, it is just irrelevant to food availability. Um, and, and I think it's there for everyone to see that we're on the fringes of a bit of a food crisis globally. Um, and, and that's started probably with, with uh, what happened with Brexit, remember that, and COVID, um, and climate change challenges coming to, to uh, primary production. But more recently, uh, that's been really exaggerated by energy and by what's happened in Ukraine and, and the bounce onto the markets for fertilizer and food. Um, and it is an incredibly tough time in the world of production. And I think it should lead to us all at home and at work, making more informed um, choices about the food that we uh, buy and eat and consume. Um, and we must encourage food future generations to do the same um, and educate future generations to do the same. And the public sector is a great place to start. Uh, we know that the public sector spends well over two billion pounds a year on food and drink. Um, it's paid for by us, the taxpayers. Um, and historically, it's been something that people have intended to uh, improve and open up supply to. Uh, but for many reasons, and some that are quite justifiable, um, it's, it's just been ignored for decades. But we have the chance to make change. And that's what today's briefing is all about. We have the chance to make change, but we need to do it now. So we'll just have a little look at the uh, agenda. So where are we? We're going to have a touch on where we are now. Um, we're going to review the Dixon Foundation challenge process. Um, uh, we'll, we'll touch on further support available from DP UK, and then we'll talk more specifically about your support. So I'm Greg Parsons from the Southwest Food Hub, one of the founders of Southwest Food Hub, um, and ably supported today by um, Ellen and Amy who are in the background and will chip in and help and make sure everything works and shout at me if I go wrong. Um, and, and I think for today's update, I'm going to assume that you know a little bit about the Southwest Food Hub um, and have followed our work, and I'm going to assume that you know a little bit about the setting up and formation of Dunno Purchasing UK. Um, if you are a new friend, um, then we have a, a library of information available on our websites on both and recordings of previous briefings. So, um, so yes, if, if, if it feels as if um, you don't know the full picture, please go and refer to the websites. Um, but I'll just move on to, um, to a bit of an update. So um, without going on and on as I do about uh, the way I've been involved in public sector procurement back, since back in 2014. Uh, in more recent history, the Southwest Food Hub was incorporated in 2020 as a community interest company with the idea of working with Crown Commercial Services to set up a pilot in the whole of the South, across the whole of the Southwest for dynamic food procurement. This followed a smaller scale pilot run in Bath and Northeast Somerset, um, which was successful um, and was uh, stimulated by um, interest from government, from Crown Commercial Services to making this rollout across the UK. Uh, bringing that right up to date, um, the Southwest Food Hub was nominated as the uh, representative for the Southwest region, um, and we completed phase one of the Dixon Foundation um, uh, uh, challenge application um, and were successful in reaching phase two, which is where we are now. Um, in order to do that, we needed to uh, share with the Dixon Foundation the work that we've done over the last three, four years, bringing, bringing to the table uh, suppliers, um, primary producers, buyers, logistics suppliers, um, and describing to them, you know, all of the work we've done to build the foundations um, for dynamic food procurement once the technology platform that makes it all work um, comes together. And now we're up against it. We've got until the 24th of April um, to, to get things lined up. Um, and that's what today's all about, really. Um, our, uh, in terms of our work, um, we built on existing links and support both nationally and locally. Um, so from a national level, we continue to uh, glean support um, politically um, from the national uh, food strategy, which um, you know, clearly states 
um, their support for the, the Dunout Food Procurement Initiative and pilot in the Southwest through the Southwest Food Hub. The EFRA report reviewing public sector procurement of last year, which clearly states that dynamic food procurement should be a solution to open up um, supply chains to public sector. And even last week, um, you know, we we're involved in a call to the highest levels in the Cabinet Office who um, know all about this project um, and will try and find a way of supporting it. So there is a wide acknowledgement um, that it's time for change, but it's extremely difficult. Um, we've along the way engaged with all, all parts of the Southwest, um, but just to review geographically what's going on in the region, um, I thought I'd share with you an update. On, so on Dorset and Swindon and Wiltshire, um, local enterprise partnerships really we talk about in those regions. Um, whilst we've had, um, we've informed each other on our status and, and um, what we've been up to, uh, we've not really um, uh, been uh, able to push hard in those regions and therefore in this latest sort of, uh, window of opportunity uh, we've not pushed them to step forward um, as potential um, uh, funding supporters of the uh, of the Dixon Foundation opportunity uh, with Gloucestershire um, Somerset, Cornwall and, and Bristol. Uh, we know that they're very warm um, to the idea of, of implementing dynamic food procurement um, and we've had a number of meetings over the over recent weeks where um, you know, certainly sentimentally um, they're very committed and would like to participate in these in these areas. However, for strategic or financial reasons, the timing could just be wrong and we're still working, especially with the likes of Bristol um, and Gloucestershire, um, to see if we can get them to step forward and be part of this this funding element but we will be very reliant on the uh, on the support for dynamic food procurement as part of the next stage of the uh, of, of the application which I'll, I'll again i'll touch on a little bit later um we then move on to um uh, the, the heart of the southwest uh, local enterprise region um uh, more specifically devon county council who have been very supportive of, of dynamic food procurement since the outset um see the benefits um that it can have across the region in leveling up in environmental sustainability and in fact improvement rather than sustainability and in health and public health as well um, and we believe um, that we will be able to rely upon them to bring forward a, um, a letter of support. Um, we also are confident that um, we uh, will be uh, able to call upon the West of England Combined Authority to follow on from their pilot um, in, in Bath and North East Somerset um, and be able to um, to uh, come forward and support us in the next stage of the project. Okay, apologies, just uh, spinning a number of plates at one time. So if I can just flick to the next slide. Um, so just to touch on the Dixon Foundation, um, the uh, deadline for the application that I just alluded to is on Sunday the 24th of April, uh, which uh, alarmingly leaves us only six working days um, to bring together the support that we need. And just to be clear, um, Southwest Food Hub being an established entity, um, we were unable to appeal, uh, apply for level one funding, um, which um, was for specifically setting up a food hub. Um, but um, we are intending to um, uh, hopefully uh, bring forward match funding opportunities for both the um, hundred thousand pound that's needed across the region in order to bring uh, a dynamic food procurement portal to life and then hopefully uh, we'll also be able to glean the support over time necessary to uh, bring together three counties that will then bring to uh, facilitate um, dynamic food procurement through the logistic hubs. Um, so we're aiming to uh, to put in an application for uh, Dixon Foundation to to match fund um, to the tune of uh, two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Just to touch on the where we are in terms of the um, the, the 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 milestones uh, along the Dixon Foundation journey. Um, and I, again, I would refer anybody who's perhaps joining uh, the party a bit late, um, the Dixon Foundation uh, website talks all about their challenges and how um, this particular challenge meets their philanthropic, philanthropic 
um, aspirations. So, um, so please um, catch up there. Um, but uh, we're, we're, as you can see, very obviously here. Um, we've done a fair bit of this, uh, this early bit of bringing people together, of forming the Food Hub, you know, and, and obviously Southwest Food Hub was formed long before many others. But I'm, I'm quite excited to say, um, since uh, we had to change direction slightly last September, unable to rely on funding from from Crown Commercial Services, um, we have been helping with the uh, development and um, uh, uh, incorporation of uh, Dynamic Purchasing UK, and they have been very successful at spreading the word on Dynamic Food Procurement across the UK. And in fact, nine um, out of 12 regions that were established were successful at getting through phase one um, of the funding application. Um, and we continue to have dialogue with them um, because we think, you know, this, this really deserves to be an opportunity for all to grasp um, and change the shape of public sector procurement forever. So just to reflect on, uh, we, uh, with my gross tinted spectacles on, uh, that we get through the funding um, application and um, are able to progress from there. Um, we, we would then um, help with the, the setting up of a buying organisation. That could be an existing organisation that meets all of the um, government uh, legal requirements, procurement requirements, or it could be a new agency if that's, if that's what's needed. Um, so we help with that, and that's where the funds arrive. The funds then um, will, be, uh, will be then to fuel the buying organisation, enable them to run um, the uh, tender for the technology and managing agent, uh, and then consequently appoint the agent, uh, and then we're ready to go. So sounds simple, four, five, six, easy to say, uh, but it is a, a challenge, um, but we've never shied away from a challenge, as many of you on the call um, on this meeting will understand. So, you know, uh, really exciting for us, um, having been on this journey for such a long time, um, equally quite daunting because, you know, this really is uh, now um, our, our chance, our golden chance, but also I think probably our last chance um, to get this, uh, this off the ground. So what do we need from you? Well, obviously uh, your money, that'd be great. Um, but we'll send the hat round shortly, the virtual hat. But more, more seriously, um, what, what we're looking for is, is time scales are not tied. So apart from uh, the one that looms uh, in, in a, just over a week's time. So the 24th, we must have everything together um, in order to present a proposal to the Dixon Foundation. Once hopefully um, that's supported and, and match funded, um, we then will have no, there's no time limit on, on how quickly um, dynamic food procurement must be implemented. Um, however, there needs to be a reasonable uh, roadmap um, that uh, shows intention um, in, in order to keep the whole thing going. So um, uh, that, that, that's to be laid out. But I think it's important to state that because there will be many, hopefully, um, that, that tune into this either now or later um, that are concerned at the timescales. Um, they are the timescales. They won't be moved. Um, but, um, you know, it, it really is at this stage uh, an intention that we're looking. We want people to write a letter of intent. It's not legally binding. Um, if the whole thing fell apart, then nobody's going to be out of pocket whatsoever. But it's an intention to step up and get involved and invest in what could be, you know, as I say, a forever change in the way food is procured for the public sector. Um, so there will be those of you amongst you um, that are in a position potentially to um, sign up for a letter of intent. And we have ample help out there to help to shape that. We have a template um, that we can help to shape specifically for the organisations. Um, that you work with um, and we we are there to if, if we need to organize quick meetings briefings we're happy to do that as well but also i, I, I sort of reluctantly say equally is important because ultimately um, it needs to be funded but but very very important is also the positive statements of support and we've got many already uh, again lots of people have been on this journey um, and, and realize and understand that this is a, um, a, a once in a generation opportunity to change the way that uh, food is, pur is, is purchased for public sector and it's never more needed because there's so much change um, so much challenge um, and as I tried to suggest earlier you know it, it's the food sector and particularly the, the food chain uh, in the UK is probably at a state where we need to use it or lose it um, and that would be criminal given that we've got a great country for growing produce for farming and whilst we need to be more responsible um, we should be making the most of what we can grow and uh, uh, for our, our population 
Um, so uh, positive statements, please. Um, just it could be a, uh, a an email. It could be something that you, you share with us via social media. It could be more formal than that. Just a few words as to perhaps why you believe that, um, uh, that dynamic food procurement um, is a good thing that should be supported and also what it might mean positively positively for your for your organizations and how you, where you sit in the supply chains um so really as we said it was a brief briefing um that was the, the briefing um as i said just now i'll repeat it if you want to chat further um or need more further support from us we're here we'll share our contact details shortly um so please get in touch six working days um unfortunately or fortunately we don't stick to working days but um we haven't got long to pull things together and we really need to empty the tank on support um as this feels like it's a last chance to truly disrupt this public sector supply and start to fix our broken food supply chains uh, and our broken food systems so um i'm going to hand back and over for the opportunity of some questions And I see there are some in the chat. So, Ellen, do you want to field some questions for me? I think your mic's off now. Yeah, there's just one here from Mark that says, do you work with the Southwest Good Food Network? So I was trying to, trying to find my own mute. And one disappeared, I might just send it. Um, I, I, I'm not sure whether we, uh, that should be goof, goof. Yeah, good, good food network. I'm not sure whether we've touched um, base with them in, in the past. Um, we may well have done. Um, I would hope that they'd be aware of the work we're doing. Um, I, I think, you know, for now, uh, as you can imagine, uh, Mark, you know, all of our efforts are focused on um, bringing together both two parts, the, the, the financial commitment to bringing this live um, and then um, alongside that, um, some words from stakeholders across the region of, as to why they think it should come to light. But beyond that, let's be optimistic. Beyond that, I'm happy to engage with, um, with any, anybody else who is deemed fit um, to, and, and has a similar, a similar, similarly minded. Um, but I can't, yeah, I can't recall a specific engagement there at the moment, unless you can, Ellen or Amy. Did your cat have a question there, Ellen? <laughs> what will it mean for cat food? Um, okay, any, any, any further questions from the huge crowd that we've assembled in the background there? Maybe I'll just move on to the contact details. Um, so yes, your chance to do your bit. We'll certainly be doing our bit um and um yeah appreciate in advance for any support that you can give us um and uh, yeah hopefully on the other side which is probably the last time we'll or sorry the next time we'll we'll hold any sort of briefing we hope to be on the other side being able to talk about how we're now going to implement um dynamic food procurement and that means going back to what we were doing a couple of years ago of engaging with producers of engaging with uh, logistics of engaging with the, the buyers and bringing everybody together to create the supply chain to prepare through um through workshops um and everything else that that, that we'll need doing uh, but um but for now our, our, all of our efforts are focused on um getting to the start line i suppose um so unless there's anything else um I don't think we've taken much of your time, but thank you for joining us. Please spread the word. Um, and um, we uh, look forward to celebrating with you on the other side. Thank you. <laughs>